everybody welcome back to some more x4 3.0 beta we are looking at the advanced gameplay tutorial that was added um, the only thing you've missed is a boron uh, telling me that we're going to run through some stuff so let's see what this is about so all right this we're going to talk about the map a bit 3d map we know this, we know this, number plus and minus for zooming, QE for rotating, All right, we got that, left mouse button for panning, right button for, mot for rotating zoom, oh, we got a bunch of stuff. So this, this should be an interesting tutorial, they never gave this in the, uh, the other one. Right, this is a cool tutorial. I mean, this really gets you into the the meta aspect of the game instead of just ship combat. This would have been great for them to have, kind of, when the game launched. Select a ship with a scenario you want to play. A ship with a scenario I want to play. I don't quite know what that means, but oh wait, here we go. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Select the ship M mining tutorial. This ship is mining in an asteroid. Huh. All right, let's go do that. So they enable teleporting. Good, good. That's an interesting way to do the tutorial. They name the ships what they want them to be. Entering system. Lasting vengeance. Lasting vengeance. All right, now you're on a mining ship. This ship is equipped for mineral mining. There's an asteroid field in close proximity. All right, we'll take control of this ship. Okay, what are we in here? Uh, it looks like an Argon Magnetar, maybe? Alright, these things are slow to turn. And slow to move. Empty space. Let's kick on the old afterburners. Even though they are quite slow too. Looks like we are heading to, over to this asteroid field where it'll show us how to mine. Come on. Oh, we enable travel mode. Travel mode charging has definitely changed to 3.0, I think. It takes longer to charge. <laughs> and we just... Right, here we go. about the asteroids in this area by dropping a resource probe. Resource probes will also detail any trace gases worth collecting. Right, let's check out the resource probe we just dropped. We got ore and silicon. I just did it. I guess I have to do it again. Resource probe. The probe is online right. and sending data packets. Data packets, nice. You will find that your navigational charts have been updated. Ships of this size serve as a base for mining operations. Asteroid. So we can compare their yields. 
Asteroid. Asteroid. Select different asteroids as targets and compare their yields on the target monitor. Yep, we did that. Oh, there's a special one. Asteroid. Fly closer. How close do we need to get? And this is great for modders too, because this tutorial sets up some interesting quest mechanics, probably in an easy to understand way. So I'll definitely have to take a look at this at some point from a modder's point of view. Scan mode. Identify the different resources by the color of the asteroids. Asteroid. So we have ore. Asteroid. To begin, activate the ship's mining turrets. All right, ship's mining turrets. Um, uh, so we can change them all to mining. This ship contains a number of drones to collect the. Mineral. Oh, I didn't know that. Arm the ore collector drones. Oh, I didn't know I have to arm them too. Armed. Okay. So we are mining. Let's observe. So you can observe from the target with F3. Let's see what we got here. So we can see our turrets firing. And bam! That asteroid was destroyed. Asteroid. Have taken and there goes our drones. Awesome. Drones the drone interface is new in the game. So that is a very welcome addition. So our drones are going out to collect everything. If you like just kind of hanging out, taking it easy, this might be the gaming mode for you. <laughs> Asteroid. 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 It's not really an asteroid. Is it? Asteroid. That's weird. Asteroid. 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 Those aren't asteroids. There's my micro. I was clicking on the wrong thing, I guess. The first drones have returned. You can order the ship to continue the operation if you wish. Do you wish to visit another location? All right, so that is how you do the mining. All right, let's see what else we got here. I've already done crystal hunting. I've already done a data vaults. I just did a video on that. Let's look at what the trader has to offer. This freighter is looking for some lucrative trade runs. Let's see what the trader has to offer here. Entering system. Sacred relic. This ship is on its way to sell wares in its cargo bay. Even in dangerous areas of space, you will likely find freighters attempting to turn a profit. We should allow this ship to continue its trade run. Okay, that's a weird scenario. Alright, let's, uh... Your station is part way through expansion. Let's go to our station construction tutorial. Elite Vanguard. Okay. Your station is making good progress in constructing the new refined metal production. Here you can see the many building drones at work. 
You are able to view and edit the station design at any time. I can see... Uh, I don't know if I can see the uh, building drones. So plan build. Over time, you can acquire new blueprints for station modules. You can design and construct vast production complexes or deadly defense stations. So, so this is the uh, station interface, very similar to the map. This is a cool looking station they have going though. They've got microchip production, refined metals, smart chip. Expanding a station can take a while, but you are equipped with a singularity engine time accelerator. CETA is a device which can okay, so Seda. Oh. time, allowing you to watch the universe speed by. Um, shift four to do Seda. Oh, you can see up here things are much quicker. It's like the time machine. And you can look around. Deactivate Seda. All right, let's select the station. Observe it with F3. So we can get a good look at the station with the F3 camera. Do you wish to visit another location? All right. Um, I guess finally we'll go check out this data vault one. Let's see if I missed. Ah, this ship has found something. Ah, this ship has found something quite interesting. See if I missed anything with my coverage of the data vault. Entering system. Grand Exchange. This may well be an abandoned listening post. There seem to be malfunctioning components. Perhaps we can bring it back online. Alright, yep, yeah, it's gonna make us do a little spacewalk. So yeah, in our in the previous video we uh, uh, did one of these. Data vault. You mainly have to... Okay, so we have a limited oxygen supply. They never, never really tell you that in the base game. Luckily, I had heard about that, but... Spacesuit, you know, very similar to um, your ship. Although, you don't have shields like it just says. I think I do. I've never seen any. I've never seen any shields. Several of the damaged elements have been marked on your HUD. I believe a pulse from your repair laser will do. Can you use the middle mouse button? So now I gotta go repair these. They marked them for us, which is nice. Repair these pressure leaks. Just as uh, we kind of, this is kind of very similar to what we did in the other video. Sometimes are in, sometimes pressure leaks are inside of other areas which you have to unlock. Just a few more. All right, we got this. We got this. Course on the other side. I believe you're almost done. Thank you. I am almost done. Just gotta get this last one right there. Ah, you appear to 
to have uncovered some sort of data. Could you take a closer look? I guess I can. I've come this far. side here because that is a little dimmer let's flip it around there we go there's a data leak is it gonna give us a tutorial on that no. Hey, we got a new entry timeline. You seem to have recovered some long lost file. Ah, a historical article. How fascinating. Let's take a look at it. Timeline. Earth scientists create jump gates. In 2022, Ashizawa Kazuko made a startling discovery. It was indeed possible to travel faster than the speed of light with finite energy. Kazuku had successfully established the principle of the tunnel jump. Skepticism was rife, but repeated experiments showed that the previously unknown student was indeed correct. Very soon, two huge jump gates were built. One sent to Mars and the other to Proxima Century in humankind's first attempt at interstellar travel. In 2041, contact with the ship carrying the Proxima Gate was lost. But after a year of frantic research, the Sol Gate once again found a connection. Scientists were stunned to discover that it had not connected with the Proxima Gate, but an unknown gate in a distant region of the Milky Way. Utterly by chance, humankind had stumbled across an entire network of jump gates of unknown origin. It was an invitation that could not be turned down. That's very cool. So that's kind of the start of X. All right, let's get back to our ship. We can teleport on back. This ship has found something quite interesting. Elite Vanguard. Do you wish to visit another location? All right, so that about do it for this. This is an all right tutorial. I mean, for the player who's been playing a while, it won't have very much new, but for the new player, I think this is excellent introduction into how other some other things work. Things like crystal hunting aren't explained very well, uh, mining, all that. So, you know, it's great they're adding this. The station tutorial... The station construction tutorial could be a little bit deeper, but, you know, it's a start. We'll see what they do with it. All right. Thanks for watching.